so today we're going to go over to my uh, buddy's shop. Um, he's working on a 56 Chevy. He's doing all kinds of stuff, putting air conditioner in it and all that stuff. So we're going to run down there real quick and see the car. So hope you stick around. Almost forgot. Stick around to the end of this video. We're going to do an update on the 55 Gasser. So when we get down here to the shop, we might get lucky. He might have uh, one of his own personal cars in the shop as well. Either Camaro or the truck. So we might get double treats today. Get to see some video of a couple of cool cars. So anyway. All right, there's my buddy shop right there. Looks like we might get an additional treat. I'm not sure. So we're gonna ride over here and see. All new mounting hardware. Still got a lot to do through the firewall. A lot of wiring. All right. Well, we got to see Dave's new trailer, and then Jeff's '56 that he's working on, uh, putting that in. But we didn't get to see the Camaro or the truck, so yeah, maybe next time. But anyway, got to hang out with some cars. All right, back out in the garage. I apologize. There's my heater. Just now kicking on. It's pretty cold outside, so hopefully the noise isn't too bad. It doesn't aggravate you. So anyway, here's my setup. I have an L bracket here. For now, it's just bolted into the floor. And then I have the pins on here. Same deal. I'm gonna put run a weld on each side of this and this, and then the pins will be on there. Let's see the hood. There's the pins connected to the hood. I mean to the deck lid. I keep calling it the damn hood. So hope you understand that. So here's the deal. I, I just can't stand the way this this deck lid is fitting. So one or two things are gonna happen. Either I'm going to have to rebend this to get it down because it sticks up a little bit. You saw it in the last video. So I'm either going to rebend this or or something to get it down. Or I'm going to not use these all together and I'm going to have it where the, where the hood, see, because the pins, this deck lid is a pretty solid deck lid. So you have to pull it out to get it on. So if it's hinged, it's not going to go on properly. So I'm thinking, uh, right in here is a slot. I'm thinking of making a bracket on 
on the deck lid to come off of this, step down, and then go back in beside there. So that way you can pull this deck lid forward and throw it back up in, 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 fast, in a fast, easy motion to get it to line back up in there. So on that car, like I say, um, it's metal and it fits right. Um, this one I was more concerned with making it, you know, look good. This I'm just worried about. I want it to look good, but I just want it to be functional too. And uh, it could be a pull-off hood. I, the only thing is, is I'll have to pull it off every time I fill up at the track. Um, but you know, you're going to do that anyway. So it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's pretty light. So uh, let me see. Still progress in here. We have a floor pan. I'll know more on that this week. I started doing the ceiling. Sorry about the poor lighting. But I need to finish grinding all the, the ceiling and then get the and that coated up. Um, nothing's changed on this motor. There's the gold grill holding up. So, but right now, this step is is to get the deck lid figured out. So that's that's the one. The only thing I do is I have to make that bracket up there or come up with a shim. But I'm thinking I'm just going to make the bracket and just not even worry about using the hinge part of it. Which kind of sucks because I went out of my way to make sure that I got a hinged one. But I still got it at a good enough price where it's still cheaper than the non-hinged one. So anyhow, um, that's the progress. That's where I'm at. I guess right now I'm just going to clean up some tool mess. See how nice it fits there. So it's definitely something out of whacking the hinges. If anybody knows, I mean, has any clue what what I'm doing wrong, um, if you could just text me in the bottom. I mean, put me a message in the bottom. But uh, anyway, I believe that this is going to be um, unhinged, unbolted. Right, speaks a lot of volume. Uh, I'm still working on the floor pan. So I'm gonna post a picture in here. All right, so you saw the picture. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think it's acceptable to, since this is going to be a gas or race car, it may not be for the rest of my life or its life, but I mean, it is what it is. It's got a straight axle front end. It will take a lot to go back. It's going to have a bigger roll bar. So I'm thinking instead of factory floor pans in this thing, to go the metal race, race floor pans. So um, what do you think? I'm going to have to make a decision here within the next week. So hopefully um, I, I come up with a good plan here. But I'm thinking about going that route. So, I mean, I could go, I could put in... Um, a regular floor pan. The regular floor pan is like 1100 bucks plus shipping. So this floor, so I mean plus shipping, and then this labor to cut this out in that, well that one back in. The all metal floor, now the price of metal has gone up too, but I might be able to get the whole floor in for a thousand dollars. You know, with the, the aftermarket metal and you know stuff like that. So, and I think it would look pretty badass. So anyway, if you have any input, when you you know you wanna wanna put your two cents in on the bottom, I will appreciate it. Um, I am just I'm just open to anything right there. That's actually leaving my shop, my garage, to uh, be done. First of all, I just I'm tight in here. I'm limited what I can do. Number two, I'm not a welder or a fabricator. I'm just kind of whatever. I'm gonna mess it all up. So I'm gonna have it done. Um, again, like I said, the same company that tugged my dream cycle over there. Uh -huh. The same company that tubbed the Dreamsicle is going to be the company that's going to be um, 
doing the roll bar in this and the floor work. And uh, actually the shop that's doing it, uh, one of the owners, races a car also. So I'm going to have him go through the suspension, make sure everything's good. Anything that needs to be welded, they're going to weld it up. So anyway, uh, the floor is the next step. Um, I'll put a video out maybe later this week. Um, trying to figure out what the deal is with the floor. Uh, keep you updated on that. And then I'm hoping maybe not next week, but the following week, I will be taking this car to um, that shop. Also, we got a busy week coming up. Also, next Saturday, we're going to have a, um, going to a, a drag fest indoor car show so it's all old drag race cars and drag cars so that's going to be a treat for you look for that video uh not this week coming up because i'm going saturday so the following saturday um and then i got work it's going on with uh, 55 um dream sickle over there i have i'm going that's going to be in a show in two weeks i'm taking it to my buddy shop where i was at with the 55 he's got a lift in it so we're going to put in a lift we're going to go through and tighten all the bolts up. It has a big cam in it, so it shakes. And uh, I want to tighten up all I got a little oil leak in that one. And I had one in this one, but I fixed it. But I got a little oil leak in that one. I want to tighten up all my pan bolts again. Um, I'm also going to, I just ordered the glass. So my buddy and I are going to tear out the glass in the driver's side. And we're going to put all new cranks and everything in it because that side over there, for whatever reason, the glass breaks in that side over there. So we're replacing all of it. I mean, I've, I've replaced the glass a couple of different times. I've had the body shop, when it was in the body shop, look at it. They said everything's good, so I'm just replacing it. It's got a brand new door on it. So the only thing old in it is the crank, the mechanism inside that lifts the window up down. So that's going to be replaced. I got it sitting on the shelf over there. So, yeah, got a lot of stuff coming up. Also, uh... The uh, week before it goes to the show, the Dream Sickle goes to another buddy's garage who is an um, amazing detailer. He's going to do a full detail and buff on the car uh, so it looked good for the show. So, got a lot of stuff coming up. So, I hope you uh, hang around, check some stuff out, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. All right, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the 56. Dave's trailer is awesome. Um, a little pricey for me. I mean, I'm, I have my own little trailer. You'll see it at some point. Well, it's not little. It's a 25, 24 foot Hallmark. Nice trailer, but Dave's setup is sweet. So, um, but anyway, uh, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you soon.